Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Whoopi Goldberg goes off on Meghan McCain, yells "Get out of my V." An unhinged Whoopi Goldberg came out firing at Meghan McCain and anyone in her path over the retiring of Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy. It was quite the spectacle to see. On Wednesday, CNN's Jeffrey Tubin and others warned that the landmark decision that made abortion a legal right, Roe v. Wade, was doomed now that a more conservative justice would be appointed to the Supreme Court by President Donald Trump. The news sent Goldberg and fellow The View co-hosts, Joy Behar, Sonny Hostin, and Sarah Haynes, into a panic on Thursday. Behar noted that Justice Anthony Kennedy's departure meant that conservatives would now hold the power in the three branches of government. It is an accurate statement, but it shows two things. One, that she did not realize they held the three branches since President Trump was elected, and two, that Kennedy, who is a conservative, sided with liberals enough that the Supreme Court was not a solid conservative body. That will change now, and the news had Goldberg going insane. Here's the piss off for me, Whoopi told McCain. I'm the person that does believe that just because someone is appointed doesn't mean, and I believe I have said that a lot about the Supreme Court, that you never know how a person on the Supreme Court is going to vote. Because sometimes, you know, things change. They wake up. They see things, I don't like hearing, again, that I'm trying to take your rights away. I have to tell you, as a woman, I think you're trying to take my rights away, okay? You don't care, the actress and comedian said. And, as a person, who believes in the Constitution, which tells me that I have the right to be myself and do the things I want to do. And, I don't have to listen to what your religion is, and I don't have to listen to what you want it to be, I have to make sure that as an American citizen, I'm doing the right stuff and taking care of business." Whoopi said that President Trump was attempting to use fear-mongering and that she did not want to take anyone's guns from them, which is something President Trump said at a rally on Wednesday night when citing the importance of nominating a conservative justice. I'm trying to hold on to my personal rights so that you can have the rights you want," she said. Because if you take mine, you're the one with the problem. If you take my right away from me, to judge what I do for my family and my body, I got a little problem with that. You got a problem, you don't want people to take your guns? Get out of my behind. Get out of my vagina. Get out. That directive won't be an issue for the majority of people who don't want to get anywhere near Goldberg's private area. But, it points to the direct disagreement of what abortion is, as McCain attempted to explain to her. We are guaranteed in this country life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Life, as I define it, does not include abortion. I believe abortion is murder," she said. You have the right not to have an abortion, Goldberg fired back. That's your interpretation of your, listen, you are not, I'm not okay when people say, listen. I want my stuff, but you can't have yours. The government has said I have the right if I need an abortion, that I can have one. And, I feel that you have every right to have the guns you want. There are some guns I think shouldn't be out there, but I don't say you can't have your damn guns," she continued. I don't want anybody saying to me, I'm going to make this decision for you because I know how your life is, and I know how you feel and I know what your religious beliefs are," Goldberg closed, adding, you don't, and you don't know my life, and if there was even a modicum of belief that somebody gave a dog gone. And I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the big government. If I thought that they gave a damn about children and being able to raise them, if somebody has a kid they can't raise, they throw them out the window." McCain again attempted to explain what she meant but to no avail. I'm saying that I don't think murder should be legal in the United States of America. I believe abortion is murder. It's that simple," she said. If Goldberg or others did not get it when McCain explained it, allow me to do it again. For starters, comparing the right to own a firearm, which is codified in the Constitution, to the legal ability to murder a baby in the womb is a non-starter. Guns are not something the government allows Americans to have, it is something it is forbidden from taking. That is an important distinction. And saying, you don't have to have an abortion if you do not want one is the same as saying you do not have to shoot someone if you do not want to. We believe it is murder. You don't compromise on laws to legalize murder. We believe an abortion is the same as shooting your children after they are born. If you are pro-choice, you are asking those of us who are pro-life to allow you to commit murder. It is that simple, as McCain said. The argument that conservatives do not want to help you take care of your kids after they are born is also nonsense. No one is supposed to take care of your kids but you. This is a tough concept for liberals to comprehend, but I'm going to say it in the simplest terms I can. If you get pregnant, that is your responsibility. 
You had the chance to be more careful and use protection before you got pregnant. You had your chance to make a choice. Murdering the baby after it is conceived should not be an option to erase your carelessness. After your child is born, yes, it is your responsibility to take care of that child. These two concepts are not mutually exclusive. It is called personal responsibility, and it is high time more people learned it. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.